Hi, I'm Sophie Shaw. I was visiting Boston and at the time I was applying to grad schools and it kind of was looking like I would maybe be moving there. Uh, and really, I think we were just walking around, but we saw Heartbreak Running Co. And like, oh, this is cool, we should check it out. And the week before I had run the Houston Marathon and just had this horrible experience, totally like got really hyped on a tree and bonked out at mile 25. and was really disappointed because I'd wanted to qualify for Boston and had really had my sights set on that. And then we were in there and just started chatting with some of the people from the store and they were super friendly and they're like, oh yeah, like we have a virtual team. And also they were telling us about the team that meets in person. And I was thinking, oh, that'd be cool. Like if I ended up going to grad school here, maybe I joined because I wanted to kind of have a community outside of academia. And then I ended up coming to Texas or staying in Texas. I'm from Texas for grad school, but I was so enamored by the idea of heartbreak that I just started doing it virtually uh, and have been a part of the long distance, no pun intended, team <laughs> ever since. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Like I mentioned, I joined originally uh, right after I'd failed to qualify for Boston. And that's been a big goal of mine since I was, I don't really know when I decided I want to do that, but it was definitely when I was a little kid. I think I read about it in some book. And so I was interested in becoming more serious about marathon training uh, and I'd run two previously kind of for fun with friends. Uh, but uh, I had really been wanting to qualify for a long time. And so I trained using the schedule and went to the coach live meetings. And uh, I finally did qualify at the Erie Marathon this past year. What was so cool about it, it was A, just having the experience of qualifying when that had been my big goal and a lot of why I joined Park Breakers, but also people recognized the heart on my shirt, which was, I was not expecting that at all. Like in Pennsylvania, I'm from Texas, Mark Breakers is in Boston and Chicago. And I was like, you know, no one, like it just didn't even cross my mind. I was just wearing it cause I like it and it felt cool to run in. And people were like, oh yeah, like go heartbreak. And that was really surprising and fun. Uh, and I really remember towards the end, right when I realized that I was gonna qualify for Boston, I couldn't stop smiling. Like. After the race, my face hurt because I had smiled like the whole probably like last three miles with no stop. And people were yelling at me and they're like, oh, like the one with the heart, she has a good smile. And it was just like kind of a funny thing that I remember. And I remember people like cheering for me like, oh yeah, like you have a good smile. Um, and ever since then when I go to races, I always like yell at people that are smiling, like smiling makes you run faster, something like that. And people tend to laugh and look at me, and, but some people speed up. Uh, so that's kind of my favorite memory and I also really like coming to the Heartbreaker live coach sessions, the meetings, I'm not really sure what we call them, uh, but it's cool hearing different people at different points in their running journey and from all over talking about what they're doing. And it's also fun, especially now training for this year's Boston, like when I hop on and there's other people doing the schedule and it's like, oh yeah, you're doing the 14 mile run this week too. Cool. Like hope we both, <laughs> you know, do well on that, but those are probably my favorite things. <laughs>